month, and when that happened, it was like the best. And give it to me. Riverdale scene one, take one, action. There's no scene three. Oh dang it, scene. Riverdale scene three, take one, action. yet either. I thought Jake was supposed to ask you. Haven't you heard? Jake's been missing for almost a week. Missing? Yeah, I mean, not officially, but that's what I'm thinking. What do you mean? Well, I did some research and he'd be the fourth kid to go missing in Greendale. Fourth. But you're not sure he's missing. No, but I haven't talked to him in a week. Every time I call, it goes straight to voicemail. When we were supposed to go on a date last Saturday, I went over there and his parents said they haven't seen him either. They thought he was with me. Hasn't he done something like this before though? Like stayed with you or someone else and didn't tell his parents? Yeah, that's why no one's officially declared him missing. Have you... Hey Brooke, where were you last weekend? Um, what? I had a party at my house last weekend. Did you not know? Jake was there, I thought he would have told you. Oh, no. He didn't say mm, anything. What a shame. It was a really fun party. Um, Cheryl, did he say anything? You know, I've been thinking. This locker is the perfect location. Next to my first period class, the center of the hallway. Okay, but about Jake? I mean, it's the perfect location for my first period class. That means it's time to go. Clean out your things, please and thank you. But this is my locker. This is where I put my stuff. Oh, here. Let me give you a hand with that. high horse that's not my path I'll take the high road and let you crash you may go to school but you don't have class you don't look good making others look bad sure you're pretty but you're not all that cute face ugly heart equals ugly it's math I tried to get harder but instead I got harder so I bother I'll just stick to being me I'm done trying to be cool I'll never be clean of school I'm done feeling a fun, come on Let's stop playing these games Go ahead and call me late You can go and shape on me names We're being cheated, popular is overrated So I'm saying I'm done trying to be cool Tattoos, underage drinking, weed and booze The places we'll go, oh the things we'll do It's not a competition, we can all succeed It's not all that popularity They'll love you and hate you all in the same week So go try to get harder And instead we'll stay harder So why bother, why not stick to being you I'm done trying to be cool I'll never be queen of the school I'm done feeling a pun, come on Let's stop playing these games Go ahead and call me late Keep throwing shade, calling me names Maybe I'm jaded, popular is overrated And so I'm saying I'm done trying to be cool Done trying to be, trying to be cool Three breakfast burgers, 
How? Are you still hungry? Well, we walked all the way over here, and I had a light dinner. <laughs> Even after 17 years, it still amazes me how much you can eat. Archie, you're late. I texted you. I need help setting up my new locker. New locker? It's the middle of the school year. Someone offered to switch with me. Wasn't that nice of them? It's not even worth it. Look, I'm sorry. Do you still need help setting it up? Well, you're too late now. Reggie already helped me. So sweet, right? Yeah, of course. I better get going. My class is on the other side of school, or I'm gonna be late. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to first period. Hearing Mr. Warner butcher American history might just make me drop out altogether. I mean, it's like he believes these governmental rewrites of history. For example, Save it thanks- Save lunch, Jeff. Well, some of us aren't delinquents. I better get to class. Toodles. It's like nobody even bothers to think for themselves. Archie, or... I'm waiting. My point? Exactly. I know friends are supposed to support each other and all, but this relationship has gotten progressively more toxic, right? I'm not sure what's worse, them together or my history class. Here's best friend. Why don't you talk to him? Oh, right, like that would change his mind. You're right. Probably wouldn't be convincing coming from the girl with the world's biggest crush on him. I don't have a crush on Archie. You wrote Betty and Archie a thousand times I in your notebook. I was in kindergarten. Oh, in first grade, second. Well, third. if I remember correctly, didn't you write love letters to Cheryl? Okay, they were poems, mm -hmm. and I was just developing my artistic side. Of course. What did you call her again? Your, your fiery muse, your red-headed Juliet, the crown jewel of Riverdale. Yeah, tease me all you want. We all know Archie's your red-headed Romeo. And now you've made me late for class. See you at lunch? Of course, Miss Archie Andrews. Yeah, no twisted history class for me today. If you need me, I'll be working on the school paper. Hello, students. This is Principal Weatherby. Sorry to interrupt your first period class, but we have some unfortunate news. Emily Bland has been reported missing. If you have any information that can help us with this investigation, please contact Sheriff Keller or come speak with me. Unfortunately, this means that prom will now be canceled until further notice. Thank you. I got a special place where you can sit. You trying to hang out Yeah. Yeah, I'm available, baby. Still open. Yo, the cheese. Right here. What's up, bro? Hey, uh, Betty, is prom really canceled? Um, officially, yes. Unofficially, no. What does that mean? It means that Principal Weatherby asked me to step in as acting president of the prom committee, and I said yes. But he has yet to announce that to the rest of school. That also means I have a million things to do before Friday when everything needs to be finalized. And then I have another million things to do between Friday night and Saturday night, including setup, catering, Jeez, and... Betty, can you handle all that? Of course I can. <laughs> well, we're here for you, Betty. If, you know, you need help with anything, setup, whatever. Thanks, guys. That means a lot. Um, oh, Kevin, do you have a second to talk about prom? Oh, are you finally asking me to prom? You know I can't afford to, Kevin. Yeah, okay. Uh, but seriously, I need to know the status of the decorations. I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't gotten them yet, but I'm going to my after school. Okay, but you know that Yes, I know that we need them right away. Okay. I also know that you're stressed out, but don't worry, it'll come together. We just need to make okay, sure great. that we have... Okay, uh, great. Hey, Josie, you have a second? Yeah. Betty, what's up? Um, I was wondering if you and the Pussycats could play prom. I know, it's super short notice, but the band that Principal Weatherby book dropped and he put it on me to find a new one and we're three days out and I'm starting to think. Okay, breathe, breathe. Okay. Chorus will play at prom. Oh, thank you. They actually have a new song that'll fit the theme perfectly. Okay, great. It'll be perfect in everything. Oh my gosh, thank you, you're a lifesaver. I'll text you later this week and ask about the set list. Anything for you, buddy. Okay. See you later, guys. And you know Columbus Day oh is just my. as bad as Thanksgiving when it comes to these governmental rewrites. Oh. Remember to bring your school spirit to the pep rally today before 8 period. Football practice will be extended an hour after school. Thanks to Betty Cooper. Prom is officially back on! Yay! Don't forget to buy your tickets at Zombie Prom this Friday. $20 now, $20 at the door. Dude, do you ever wonder what zombies ever think about? Werewolves. Ow! Ow! And unsurprisingly, this year's theme is all too fitting. Place to sit? 
Yes, thank you. Looks like they're already channeling their inner zombies. <laughs> See, she's not too nice. What's with the air quotes, Chicago? Um, I was just, uh... Something well, I was about just, uh, me being too nice. I like her. Why don't you come sit next to me? I'm Kevin. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Veronica. I'm Betty. This is Jughead, and that stuttering mess is Archie. It's uh, nice to meet you. So, Chicago, what's your damage? Um, my what? You know, your hustle, your hobby, your hangout spot. I'm, uh, I'm on the football team. Oh, so you're one of those guys. Not quite. Contrary to what Cheryl has everyone believe, Archie actually has a brain. Who's Cheryl? I heard my name. Archie, want to introduce me to your new friend? I'm Veronica Lodge. Nice to meet you. Right. Hey. Have you picked out your matching bow tie for prom yet? If you need my help, we can go together after school. Also, I need your help setting up my new locker. I thought you already did that. I don't see how that's any of your business. Archie? Uh, yeah, okay. Archie! Yeah, I, I know, I'm coming. Wow, she really is something. She's just marking her territory. Yeah, but PDA has never been Cheryl's specialty. I agree. Even for Cheryl, that was weird. So, uh, Veronica, <laughs> what was New York City like? Oh my god, you're from NYC? Tell me all about it! <laughs> so, this is really... Uh, so, still working on that historical landmark piece? Uh, I wrapped that up during history. Now I'm just editing. Cool. Um, hey, could you do me a favor? Depends on what it is. Could you write me an article about prom? Betty, you know prom's not my thing, and a zombie theme? Come on. Look, I know it's not your thing, but I could really use a win with all this last minute planning stuff. And anything you write will be good publicity. Could you please do this for me? Fine. So, uh, who's your date? <laughs> to be completely honest, I've been so wrapped up in this getting decorations together that I totally forgot. And anyway, it's probably too late now. Not like I have time now that I'm the president of the prom committee. Uh, well, you could always... Yeah, you're probably right. We're totally gonna talk more about New York later. We're finally gonna come back. Of course. <laughs> I'll see you guys there. I'm going to history. Oh, me too. Oh, awesome. Uh, hey, Chuck, if you need me help with that prom article, let me know. Uh, will do. See you after the pep rally. Real smooth, Jughead. What are you talking about? Whatever. Um, I'm singing in the rain. Yes, singing in the rain. What a glorious feel, and I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds, so dark up above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I've a smile on my head. The happy refrain, just singing, singing in the rain. I'm dancing and singing in the rain.